Is the southern border secure? I think the southern border represents a um, massive security threat. So what we've heard from you today is that um, uh, fentanyl has become a really big problem and that you're having to put more resources to it. Is that correct? Towards fentanyl, yes. Uh, yes, we are. And the related gangs. I mean, you just retailed uh, some of the story. Right. So this all happened over the last couple years as the border has become unsecure. Um, is the southern border secure? Well, again, we're not... I want to defer to uh, the Homeland Security, which has responsible for the physical security of the building. I will just tell you from the FBI's perspective that we are seeing all sorts of very serious, very serious criminal threats that, that come from across the border. And getting worse, correct? You're uh, putting more assets towards it? We certainly do. We have, as so I said... it's becoming more of a priority for you? It is becoming more and more and more of a priority for us. Um, so in the Durham report, and we heard from Mr. Durham just a couple weeks ago, he said the FBI failed to uphold the important mission of strict fidelity to the law, and that predates you. Uh, do you agree with that statement that Mr. Durham uh, made? Uh, yes, I do. Was Russia collusion a hoax? So in light of the Durham report well, and that, was Russia collusion a hoax? What I would say is this. Uh, one as to the Durham report itself, and one as to the issue of Russia malign influence. As to the Durham report itself, be quick. The, I will try. The conduct it describes is conduct that I consider unacceptable and unrepresentative of who I see the FBI is every day and must not ever be allowed to happen again. And on the other side. Second, on the other one, it is not seriously disputed that the Russians, among other foreign adversaries, have attempted to interfere in our elections. Uh, and so, and there have been any number of findings to that. In fact, President Trump himself uh, rightly declared a national emergency about foreign interference in our elections in 2018. So as a result of the actions of James Comey, the disgraced James Comey, and the FBI, they've interfered with the elections in both 2016 and 2020. Will that interference happen again in 2024 by the FBI? The FBI is not going to be interfering in elections. They did in 2016. Well, I, I don't know that that's what Mr. Durham found. What I would tell you again is that it was conduct that I consider unacceptable and unrepresentative. You can be in denial if you want to. I'm not in denial, Mr. Dr sir. You can be in denial on this. That's exactly what happened. Last year, the FBI gave a defensive briefing to my home state, Senator Johnson. And you can see the slide up there now. And then that defensive briefing was leaked to the Washington Post. Who ordered that briefing? So defensive briefings when it comes to election matters, uh, including in the last administration, uh, under a procedure set up by the last administration, are an interagency process coordinated by the Office of Director of National Intelligence. And the way that works is the interagency concludes that a defensive briefing is appropriate, and the FBI is given information from whatever intelligence community agency supplies it, and then we provide it. Defensive briefings, it's important to understand. Sen Senator Johnson. That's his quote. He's up there with you and Hunter Biden. I knew it was a setup. And he asked you this question back in November of last year. And he said, I knew it was a setup. And, here's, and that goes back to the point about interfering in elections. Senator Johnson was the, one of the most vulnerable Republican incumbents, if not the most vulnerable Republican incumbent, that was a target of the Democrats in the 2022 election. And then you see this briefing happen, and he knew what was happening, that there was someone or some people within the FBI and the intelligence arena that were going after him. Did Joe Biden take pay, uh, payments from Burisma or any other foreign companies as vice president, president, or private citizen Biden? Uh, as you may know, there is an ongoing investigation being led by the U.S. attorney in Delaware, Mr. Weiss, appointed uh, by President Trump in the last administration that our Baltimore field office is working with, and I would refer you to, to him as to what, if anything, can be shared. So the president is under, um, he is under um, investigation. I'm not going to confirm or speak to who is or isn't under investigation for what. I'm simply going so to So he's not you, under investigation? I didn't say that either. Uh, by longstanding department policy and practice, I'm okay. not going to be confirming or denying I'll who close. is or isn't under investigation thank, or for what. Thank you. I, I'll close with this. 
Russia collusion started it, Mr. Chairman, and the targeting and the suppression and the censorship has continued until this point. We need to thoroughly review what the FBI is doing, and at a minimum, I will be allowing FISA to sunset if we're not going to see significant reforms in the agency. I yield back.